and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. You're listening to Monday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. <laughs> of presents. I, I mean, they're not all really exciting. Oh. Some of them are, are silly, daft things. Um, one I'm really not sure about. Oh, love, it looks like you've gone a bit mad. And uh, I made these croissants, but I don't know how good they are. Oh, you made croissants? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, when? This morning. Well, I made the dough last night, so this morning I just had to bake them. Is that what you were doing at, like, midnight? Yeah. You told me you were making that, what's it called, Woolton, Wool, Woolton pie? It was a cunning lie. It was a pie lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? Well, being an idiot. I'm, it's I'm, nice. Well, I'm, not what, nice that I'm an idiot? Yeah. Thank you so much for all of this. I just wanted to make an effort. I know. I can see and. And the croissants look amazing. They're quite tricky. Honestly, they might not be any good. Oh. Well, uh, oh, where do I start? I don't know. You choose. Um, oh, no, no, not that one. That's oh. the one I'm not sure about. Open something else first. Oh, OK. Uh, this one? Yeah. Did you sleep? Uh, not brilliant. You? No, not brilliant. I've got to say, it feels too weird waking up on the sofa on my birthday. I know, I know. And and I nearly said last night, please, can we stop this? Why didn't you? Because I was worried that you'd say no. I wouldn't have. Wouldn't you? No chance. I hate this. <sighs> I hate it too. Then we're both idiots. <sighs> yeah, maybe we are. But, I mean, I also hadn't finished the croissant dough and I didn't want you to clock what I was doing, so it was partly that too. Oh, OK. <laughs> but we can stop it now, can't we? Yeah. Yes, emphatically, yes. I, I, I mean, I'm 39 years old today, Fallon. Oh, I know. And I should be sleeping in the same bed as me wife. Well, yeah, you should. <sighs> OK. <laughs> OK, well... Now, come on, start opening presents. Good <clears throat> oh, morning, Freddy. Oh, Jason. Hi, hi. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. How was your weekend? Oh, it was, it was good, yeah, it was good. What did you get up to? Oh, just, uh, 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 cricket, yeah, I'm in the, I'm in the cricket team, Ambridge, you know. Oh, you any good? <sighs> I'm okay. Did you win? We, we did, we did win, yeah, I played Loxley Barrett. We thought we'd thrashed them and, and we did. Uh, Darrington are more of an issue for us. Uh, that, that's more like the, the Manchester derby. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, obviously not quite as, you know, uh, thrilling. But well, I don't know. Man City, man, you do nothing for me. Yeah. Though, obviously, Pep Guardiola's a genius. <laughs> obviously. Ready? Jason? Hi, Vince. Uh, shall we go to my office? Yeah. Right, I'll see you later, Freddy. Oh, no, Jason, you can come and join us. Um, really? Yeah. You and me and Freddy are going to have a chat. OK. OK, these croissants are actually amazing. <laughs> They're not amazing. They're not even quite right. Your standards are too high. <laughs> mm. I mean, I, I do think they're pretty nice, but they should be lighter. I, I don't know how the French do it. Can I just say, and I mean this in the nicest <sighs> northernest way, sure up with you. <laughs> OK, sorry. Oh, they're great, and, and my presents are brilliant, and I can't believe you bought me a book of Larkin's poetry. Well, you love that hedgehog poem so much. I did, I do, and... I think Larkin's going to be my man. Mm. Apparently he was born down the road. Was he? Mm. Well, Coventry. Practically Ambridge, then. Yeah. <laughs> so nice to feel normal. I know, yeah. I, I don't mean, like, everything's fixed. I, I, I don't mean that, but just, like, momentarily. 
feeling lighter. And hopefully it'll last longer than a moment. Yeah, hopefully. Right. Well, I should get ready for work. Oh, me too. <laughs> Doesn't feel like a work day, does it? No, I wish I'd booked the day off. Oh, that would have been really nice. Would, wouldn't it? Yeah. Ah, too late now. Have I told you that Linda's asked me to be in a play for D-Day? Oh, uh, she? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of amazing, actually. She's written a play with my great-aunt Connie as a character. Your great-aunt Connie? Yeah, yeah, the one who was a nurse. The one who wrote that lovely tragic thing that I found last week. What lovely tragic thing? Did I not tell you about it? No, you didn't. Honestly. Oh. But then... We didn't really do much talking last week, so maybe it's not that surprising. Take a seat, lads. Do I... I mean, do you need me here, Vince, or... Well, I think it would be useful to have you with us, Freddy. OK, um... What, well, um... <clears throat> is... is everything OK? Now, why wouldn't everything be OK, Jason? I don't know, I've... I've no idea. Really? No idea at all? No idea whatsoever, really? That does surprise me. Uh, um... <laughs> no what? What's going on? You tell me. No, but I, I can't. I, I really can't. Sorry, Mr Casey, but... Well, you're freaking me out a bit now. Am I? Oh, well, we're getting somewhere then. Just tell him, Jason. What, tell him what? I... I literally have no idea what he's talking about. OK, so this could go on for a while and I've got other things to do today besides sitting here watching you sweat. We know you've been nicking meat and selling it on. What? Don't even try and pretend. Honestly, but uh, that's absolutely not true. I mean, I wouldn't do that. You know I wouldn't. I, I would never steal from you or, or from anyone else. Oh, Mr Casey, you know me. Well, I thought I did. I've worked here for years. I've... I've been a good employee, haven't I? Yeah, you have. You have. You've been great, Jason, which makes this all the more shocking. There's obviously been a mistake. Jason, s sorry, can I interrupt? Sorry. Can I just say something? Uh, yeah. Please, please, don't make it worse for yourself. Well, what am I supposed to say? I mean, he's got the wrong guy. Has he? Has he really? Sorry, but Mr Casey... I and I mean this with respect. Oh, well, if you mean it with respect, I'll just forgive you for lying and stealing, shall I? Look, Jason, Jason, if you tell us everything you know, like who you're selling on to and how you got involved in all this, well, well then maybe Vin Mr Casey will, will let you keep your job. Really? Well, that depends on the quality of the info, doesn't it? So don't even think about feeding us a load of old toffee. What time is it? Oh, nearly 7.30. Yeah, better jump in the shower. OK. Oh, also, I've got plans for tonight, so I really hope you don't have to stay late at work or anything. Uh, OK. Uh, what is the plan? It's a surprise. Oh, no, Fallon, I, I can't handle surprises right now. Oh, no, uh, no, it's nothing radical. It's nice. It'll be a nice thing. I, I don't want to see people. I, I just haven't got it in me, love. I'm managing to stick a smile on for the cricket, but I'm just not in the mood for kindness or questions or cheeriness or, or anything or, or anyone. Well, the plan only involves me and you. Oh. Oh, right. Is that all right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, I do think it's a nice idea. I mean, I, I think you'll have a good time. OK. I can tell you what it is, if you want. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's OK. Keep it as a surprise. That's what you want. Oh, maybe that's daft. I trust you. Do you? Absolutely. Harrison. Meatballs are really good. Yeah. I'm not all that hungry, though. What's the matter? Nothing. You've looked miserable all morning. Sorry. You should be as pleased as Punch right now. Why? <laughs> because we got him. And you were brilliant. You played an absolute belter. That bit when you said he could keep his job if he told us everything, and then he literally told us everything. Yeah, I meant that. You meant it? Yeah. Because I thought, you know... Well, you might actually be able to stay working here, but then you went and sacked him anyway. Well, of course I did. Well, I wasn't expecting that. So you weren't acting then? No, I really wasn't. Well, how could I possibly keep someone on who'd done that to me? <sighs> I don't know. Freddy! I just felt so sorry for him. He was... 
What? Well, it sounds ridiculous, but he was... He was only nicking the meat so he could pay for his kids to go on the school ski trip. A ski trip? Yeah, I know how it sounds. Oh, my heart bleeds, Fred. It really does. I know, There's I know. There's people who can't afford to eat right now. They're the ones you should be feeling sorry for. Yeah, and I do. I do feel sorry for them, but... It was just another bit of me that was like, why shouldn't two kids from a a working class background get to do something that kids like me take for granted for once? I can tell you why, Freddy. I can tell you why. Because these things can't be funded by nicking from my abattoir. How was work? Yeah, fine, fine. Did they know it was your birthday? They did. Did they sing to you? They did. Cake? Yep. Yeah, supermarket <gasps> bought. Tasted terrible. Synthetic, oh. nasty, super sweet. <laughs> Still a cake. Yeah, I suppose. Well, that's nice. Can you tell me where we're going yet? Um, I'd rather not. Can you give us a clue? Well, I can tell you that we're driving to Brookfield. Brookfield? To the barn. No, 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 no. It is a surprise party, isn't it? No, no, it is not. I, I... thought you trusted me. W was that all flannel? No, it was not flannel and <laughs> I do basically trust you. Basically? Fallon, it's a ruddy great barn love. We're not going to go and hang out on our own in a giant space like that, are we? Well, well we are actually, yeah. And, and, and do what exactly? Have a barn dance for two? Well, if I tell you it'll ruin the surprise. But, but I don't want a surprise. Alright, I give up. Great. So, you know they were going to run these uh, cinema sessions at Brookfield but then the, the bridge obviously went down. Yeah. Well, Ben has organised as a sort of test run to screen something just for us. Oh, that's... That's ama amazing. That's lovely. Yeah, so it's going to be me, you and popcorn and Prosecco. Oh, sweetheart. I know. I was so pleased when I thought oh. of it. And Ben's just been brilliant at sorting things out. Oh. So what's the film? Your absolute favourite. Point Break? No. Speed? No. Uh... Rogue One? Taxi Driver? No, no, it's none of those. <laughs> what is it then? Footloose. Footloose? Yeah, with Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Footloose? Yeah, what? Why are you laughing? That is definitely not one of my favourite films. Are you winding me up? <laughs> no, seriously. It's so funny, Harrison. But I'm not kidding. I, I'm not, really. I... <laughs> But I'm sure you said that. When when I said I love Chicago, you said you love Footloose. No, 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 no. I never said but that. But you did. No. You, you did. Am I, am I going mad? Like, have I got it mixed up with something else? Oh, I don't know. Oh, this is a disaster. <laughs> no, no, it's funny. It's great. It, it'll be great. Maybe Ben can change it. Ben can change it. Of course he can. There'll be other films. Like, we can watch something else. We can probably watch anything we want. I'm sure we can. No, 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 no. I want to watch Footloose now. No, you don't. I do. Harrison. I'll be really upset if we don't watch Footloose. I mean, it is great. I'm sure it is. Do you hate it? No. You don't love it? No. Sorry. But I love you. I love you too. Hey. Lucky that. Are you what we call foley then? Uh, kind of, yep. First. Okay, and and these are these are all part of the uh, paraphernalia of production. Uh, yep, that's uh, the ball bar. That's this one. Yep, that's. I mean, Haley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came. It's uh, due in two months. Uh, not much chance of that now. No. I mean, it would have been a stretch for him financially, mind, but. Oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help them, Caroline. I, mean, I think The Archers has, has had this immense popularity over the years, um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community. At whatever